Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and this is the UN55NU8000 TV from Samsung. The one we're looking at here is the 55 inch version, but it also comes in a 49, a 65, and an 82 inch model as well. Starting off on the outside, there's a very minimal bezel around the sides and top, but on the chin, we're going to see a slightly larger brushed silver band that runs across with the Samsung logo in the middle. And for anyone wondering, no, the logo does not light up. The pedestal matches with a brushed silver band across the front. It's sturdy, but it does still wobble, which is something you'll generally find on the pedestals that attach to the TV in the middle. On the back, you've got a plate that can be removed for cable management for a nice clean install on a stand. As you're facing the back of the TV, to your right is going to be a little cutout for the power cord, and to the left is where you're going to find all the inputs and outputs. This one has four HDMIs, with the one being labeled as HDMI 4 having an audio return channel. You also get two USB inputs, an Ethernet connection, antenna input, and an RS-232C mini plug, along with an optical audio output. However, there are no analog outputs for sound and no component or composite inputs for video. Sound quality is average on this set, much like any other TVs released in the last few years. This one has a 40 watt 2.1 channel setup with the speakers getting 10 watts each and the built in subwoofer getting 20. It's okay for like a bedroom type of setup, but if this is going to be your main TV in the house, I would recommend checking out a sound bar or surround system. And because this has Bluetooth audio on it, there's going to be some wireless options to choose from as well. Lastly is the picture. The NU8000 line comes with the native 8-bit panel, but with dithering you're realistically dealing with more of a 10-bit color gradient, which displays really nicely when you're watching HDR content. I did find that the colors seem to get a little warmer with the HDR turned on, which some people may like and others may not, but that was my experience. There's always the expert settings menu that you can go into and really kind of fine-tune the picture to your liking if you choose. And there's some preset picture settings too, which we'll go through for you here, so you can get an idea of how the picture changes uh, as you move those settings around. Motion was good on this one too. The top three sizes all have a motion rate of 240 hertz, while the 49 inch model is 120 hertz. On this one, the 55 inch, the motion looked really smooth. There were a couple instances where I noticed some blur, but it seemed more like the camera that the footage was recorded on causing it rather than the TV itself. As far as lighting goes, these have Samsung's ultra slim array, which does a nice job of making sure the things that are supposed to be dark are dark and brightening up the right spots too. It's not OLED, so there's still some light bleed, but that's the reality of LED really, and I didn't find it to take away from enjoying the picture that I was watching. The other thing to mention is how they've incorporated Bixby into the TV. You get a voice controlled remote, and with that you can ask the TV things like what's the weather, turn the volume up or down, and change the channels. And it works well for those types of commands. I had some trouble using it to search for things on YouTube, but the nice part about it is Samsung's constantly updating how it works, so th it'll continue to change as they go along and continue to improve. So it's a cool technology, so you know it's going to continue to get better and better. Also, if you download the SmartThings app onto your phone, it makes setup super easy. You don't have to re-enter your passwords for everything, the TV just reads them off your phone, which is great for people like me who forget their passwords almost immediately after I create them. Overall, this is a nice TV at the higher end of their UHD lineup, and we're really excited to see all the other new sets uh, coming out as well, so make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be getting videos out on lots more of those as they arrive at our store. As always, we appreciate you watching, and remember to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post new content.